All right, guys, I want to show you um, how to navigate through this assignment, uh, where to find the different things, um, and so on. So this first um, slide just kind of goes over some basic instructions about uh, what you find on the left margin and what you find on the right margin. So on the left margin, you're going to find uh, the actual instructions to um, find the buried treasure. And on the right margin, you're going to find uh, the digital tools to do that. Um, where you see the red X, that's where you're going to start. And just so you understand these, um, these CCW uh, degree measurements, that means uh, counterclockwise degree measurements. And there's some examples down here. So you should start like when you have an X, Y axis, the positive X axis is zero degrees or 360 degrees. But you start at zero and you move uh, counterclockwise. So um, when you do that, and you hit the y-axis, uh, the positive y-axis, you've rotated through 90 degrees. If you kept going, you'd get to 180, and somewhere in between, uh, in this case on the right, uh, 135 degrees. So if I had said, you know, um, uh, you're going to rotate or go at um, a counterclockwise angle of 135 degrees, you can see that uh, that's 45 degrees past 90. Okay, so that's another way to think about it. And then this last example down here, uh, 300 degrees, uh, that's 30 degrees more than 270. Okay, so those are just some examples for that. In this virtual assignment, you're going to let uh, one pace be equal to one centimeter. Okay, so let's go through um, this example that I have here. So there are four vectors in, in order for you to find the buried treasure. So the first vector is four paces counterclockwise 90 degrees, and, and the next vector is eight paces uh, counterclockwise 45 degrees, and so on. So again, uh, one pace is going to be equal to one centimeter. Now when you scroll over, when you open up this assignment, when you scroll over to the right in this, in this slide, you're gonna see the virtual protractor and the virtual ruler, and then you're gonna have uh, two vectors. So what I suggest is that you take these vectors here, just take one, move it over, and then um, duplicate it. So the way you duplicate that, so when you click on the vector, uh, if you go up to edit and hit duplicate, now you have another one uh, that you can use. All right, so now I'm going to take this first vector and it says counterclockwise 90 degrees. All right, so if I were to take my virtual protractor, if I just kind of move it over here, um, and if I were to take it and line it up with my X, I mean, I don't necessarily have to because I know that uh, starting on the y-axis over here, uh, sorry, on the x-axis, if I were to start on the x-axis and rotate uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees, I'm going to hit this axis over here. So to kind of show you what I mean by that, so I'm just going to make this line easy for you guys to see. All right, so if I'm starting uh, on this x-axis here and I want to uh, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, then what that would look like is that kind of a rotation, okay? So for this vector, okay, it needs to be pointing vertical, okay? So it's going to start on the X and it's going vertical. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that it is 
four paces, which is uh, four centimeters long. So here is my virtual uh, ruler that I'm going to use to measure. So I'm just going to line it up with the starting point. Okay, and it needs to be four centimeters, so four is right there. So I'm going to click on my vector, and all I'm going to do is shorten it until it is four centimeters long. So now it's pointing uh, at 90 degrees counterclockwise, and it is four centimeters long. All right, now my next vector needs to be uh, 45 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm going to take my protractor and I can shrink it, I can enlarge it, whatever I need uh, for um, the purpose of drawing these vectors. Now, the origin of this protractor, the XY, I'm going to take that and I'm going to line it up uh, at the very end of the arrowhead. I'm just going to enlarge this. It's a little easier sometimes to move it around when it's been magnified. Okay. So there it is at the end of the arrowhead. And I want this vector to be at 45 degrees counterclockwise. So in that case, that's going to be uh, right there. So I'm going to take it and start rotating it. Let's see if that matches up correctly with 45 degrees. And if I kind of shrink it down, you can see that it is lined up with 45 degrees, okay? So now the next thing, I can move this uh, protractor out of the way here. The next thing I need to do is I need to take my ruler and I need to make this vector eight centimeters long. So I'm gonna take my ruler line it up with that vector and then click on the vector and I want to stretch it out to be eight centimeters long so that gets it to right there okay this next one is 330 degrees all right Let's take this, make a duplicate. Let's bring that over here. Let's go to my protractor. Okay, the protractor again, the XY has to line up with the head of the arrowhead of the previous vector. Okay, so now it's lined, the protractor is lined up, and it is, again, it is 330 degrees counterclockwise. So if, uh, if I start at zero and I go counterclockwise, I hit 90, keep going counterclockwise, I hit 180, I keep going, I get to 270, I keep going, uh, there's 300, um, there's 310, there's 320, there's 330, okay? So again, it's 330. So I want to hit that. Let's uh, line this up and let's start rotating it. So 330 degrees. Let's see how this lines up here. Okay. So now it's uh, going through 330 degrees. Let's go back to the zoom and hit fit page. Let's move the protractor out of the way. Get my ruler ready. 
rotate my ruler. Now this vector has to be uh, 12 centimeters long, which is not going to fit on the page. So let's, it's going to bring it all the way down here. So I'm going to change that for this purpose. I'm going to make it, let's make it seven so we can just see what it does. Seven centimeters long. Okay, seven brings it right there. All right. And this last vector is two paces, so that'll be two centimeters, and it's at 270. So I know that 270 is straight down. I don't need to grab the protractor. I'm just going to go get this thing straight, pointing straight down. For when I want to make my measurement, um, I'm just going to line the 7 up to the end of the uh, arrowhead. Take this next, take this vector, duplicate it. Rotate it so it's facing down. Okay, move it over, line it up. And now let's make it two centimeters long. So that brings it down to the nine. Okay, so based on this, that's where the bit buried treasure would be, which is the vertical uh, axis is H and the horizontal is 19. So I would type in H19 for the answer to this map for where to go dig for the buried treasure. Okay.